Hello people out in YouTube land. Today I wanted to show you something completely different. This is running together an Arturia Beatstep Pro together with some patch blocks and a Eurorack system. So I bought these patch blocks already over a year ago and they were lying around. Main reason was that the software was not really there, but now they have the version .4, which is working fine by now. And so I revisit these little thingies and the main idea of me was to combine them with my Eurorack system. And if you haven't seen these patch blocks, not yet before, they're basically a programming system. You have a user interface for them, which is pretty similar to PD or to Max MSP, if you're familiar with that. And you have two buttons and you have two knobs and you have a stereo input and a stereo output. And what these thing is are doing is basically up to you. And I was struggling a lot with how to get a trigger signal from the Eurorack in to these little machines because my main idea was if I could use them as drum modules or even for generative drums and finally it worked out and so I was so happy about it I wanted to show you that too and share it with the world so if you look at the patch the main thing to find out was how to get the trigger input coming from a Eurorack and this is basically just this one module here that you need to set to that value and then everything is fine and you need to bring in your audio input trigger from your Eurorack or in my case here from the Arturio Beatstep Pro. So in the first example which is running from that one here is that I just use one trigger output from a drum module and put it into that machine here and take the output again. These are both mono cables so the output again back to my Eurorack system. So let's start with an uh, empty pattern here and if you see what you see is if I press the pad it's always the, also flashing the LED and I got a hi-hat sound with it. I can also change the sound, have a second sound in there, if I press that one you get a kind of whoop, whoop, whoop sound and back to hi-hat and you can also adjust the volume and that's everything which this one is capable of so let's have a simple hi-hat rhythm can do it like this. Here we go. And you can adjust the volume. And so you can see that it's in sync. I go to the bass drum, which is run in my normal modular system. Let's do four on the floor. So here it's in perfect sync with the normal modular system, which is really great. So let's get rid of them again stop that. What I did with another module is I thought, hmm, why only take one part of the stereo input? So what you can do if you, you need a mono to stereo cable, which has two real mono inputs to one stereo. So what I did, I take two outputs, two trigger outputs from the Beatstep Pro and put it with the stereo cable. Also in the input, I take two triggers and so I can run on that one a bass drum and the snare in parallel. And this is a mono output, so the signal is mono. These are those, these two here. The bass drum and the clappy snare. And we can do again some four on the floor stuff here. You know, to program it directly. And you have a nice little drum machine with these two little beasts. And you can also adjust the volume of these two. So you can also turn it down for a second. everything in very fine sync with your modular. I can show this. There's a, there's a bass sound running on another track for my modular system. So it syncs really fine with all this stuff. And then I thought why not go completely crazy 
and do some kind of generative uh, drum programming. It's not really generative. It's more like I have some pre-programmed patterns. So this is that module here. And I took out the, the clock output of the BeatStep Pro and put it into that one. And that one is again the sound coming out. Uh, on the left side there is a bass drum, on the right side is a snare and you can choose from different patterns and so you can create your rhythm with uh, different patterns from the bass drum and different patterns from a snare drum. Then we start the sequence again so we get a trigger signal. Wow, and this is already going crazy so let's put it to the middle. So that's your normal boom chuck pattern and if you go completely to the left it's getting more crazy and if you're going completely to the right it's an empty pattern so you can also uh, basically turn uh, turn off one of the of the sounds so more some variations here and here it is off And you can combine this with the uh, with the sounds from the modular again. So let's have here's my hi hat. So this is coming from the modular system. You can do breaks. Yeah. Oof. Snare road. We go crazy. Yeah, it's like this. If you take a look at the patch, the main secret again is just that you have uh, the recognition of the signal. Then we have a split into the two patterns. One pattern is for the bass drum, one pattern is for the snare. And you can adjust it to have your own pattern. So you see, this one is. It's basically uh, eight on the floor, so the pattern is always eight steps long. And you can create your own variations if you exchange the zeros and the ones to your liking. Also, as you see, the last pattern has only zeros, so this is basically off. And then the patterns uh, trigger the two different sounds. So you could also adjust the sounds, use different sounds. And you could also, what I did not do is to use the controls, so the knob and the buttons to not only change the volume, but also to adjust your sounds. So that's some next steps to do. I hope you liked this short tutorial and insight into Patchbox and using them with the Beatstrap Pro and go crazy.